got a silhouette van. I think it's a 2002. And this window won't go up. It'll go down, but it won't go up. So we're going to test out and see if it's a switch or if it's a motor or what it is. So the first thing we have to do is remove this here. So basically this just pops up. You just got to grab underneath it. It'll just pop up. It's just held in by a couple of retaining rings. So we'll bring it up here. And this is the switch box. So we're gonna take that off. Just unclip these sides. Here. Okay, so we got that out. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the wire switches here. You could have done that without taking the switches out, but uh, just a little bit more free that way. So just push in on this and pull them out. And then we're going to figure out which wires go to what. Okay, so now we've got our switch out here. You can kind of see that. Wires are out of it. We've got our meter set to ohms here. So that way, hopefully you can hear this little beep when you touch the leads together. Tell there's a short. So now, looking it up, basically we can see that this yellow and black wire are the positive and minus. And the rest of the wires are the up and down wires for this device. So just referencing where those are at, you can see that the side with four of them on here is going to be the side with the power. And actually it's going to be this, this one right here that's going to be the, the constant. So when the switch goes down or up, that should basically short or make a circuit between this one and one of the other pins. So what you're going to want to do, it would be easier if we had alligator clips, but I'm going to try to show this as best as possible. I'm going to put my lead back here, so it's always touching that. And then I'm going to, just to make sure it works, I know the, the down function works, so we're going to push down on the button here. You kind of see that. And then we're going to go through and touch these pins to see and make sure one of those is sending power through it. So you can hear that beep. So that pin goes to the window down on the driver's side. So now we're going to go up and see what pin, if any, go to that. And if the switch is bad, you won't get any leads here. So no, no, and no. So it looks like the switch is bad. Just to test it, we're going to do the other switch just to make sure those work. Because the passenger window does go up and down. Sorry, guys. Okay, down on the passenger. So it's that third one there. Looks like it. So it does work. Um, the switch is bad just for the up position. So we're just going to have to go get a new switch. To confirm this, what we can do is when we turn power on, we can jump her between the hot here and... Whichever one goes to the up position, which I'll have to look up the pin out, but I believe it's this dark blue wire. So we can just jump her between there and there, and if the window goes up, then it uh, it confirms that the switch is bad, and so we'll replace the switch. So it was between this yellow wire and the blue wire. The blue wire is actually what makes the window go up. Jumpered that, and the window, as you can see, did go up. So now we've got a new switch in there. Um, 
and it just basically pushes back in there. And now it should work. Turn the car on, the window goes down, and the window goes up. So that's all it was, is a switch, about 55 bucks um, at the auto parts store. And the window goes up and down now.